Hello everyone, my name is Naren and in this session let's learn about bitmaps and counting using bitmaps. Suppose I have a system like Spotify where people log into the system and listen to songs. And now I have gained about 1 billion users. Really? Yeah, 1 billion users. And now I want to understand some of the key metrics related to my system. First one is daily active users and also daily inactive users for any given day or n number of days in the past. Maybe it could be for a month or a week or something like that. And I'm also interested in learning the same key metrics categorized by device type or operating system or platform type. Now, how do I do this? The key thing we need to consider to solve this problem is I want to solve this problem very memory efficient and also lightning fast. And how do we do this? As a programmer, I think, okay, let's use hash table and set user's key as a key of a hash and set different values. Maybe I maintain multiple hash tables per day and then save this information so that I can access faster, perform faster with lightning fast, right? Yeah, it could work. Or if I'm thinking like a data engineer, I might be thinking streaming technologies, or I might be dumping all of the data into some data lake or some database where I can access all of this data faster and then query and then show the information. And now let's explore some different solution to solve this using very less memory and also high performance. How do we do this? So before solving that, let's understand why it takes more memory. So I said that I have 1 billion users, okay? 1 billion leads to 1 and 9 zeros in front of it, okay? So now 1 billion users. If the key of the user is, you know, integer, whatever, then 1 key takes 4 bytes, okay? Let's take 4 bytes. Then how much data we need just to save all the keys in the memory, in the hash for all the users which I have in the system. So one billion users I have. So one key requires four bytes. In total, I would be needing four billion bytes, okay? So that would lead to kilo, mega, and giga. So four gigabytes of memory just to save all of the user's keys in one hash table. If you're using one or more hash tables, then these keys will multiply by those many number of hash tables. And I'm not even talking about the values memory at all. So even if you're just saving another four bytes in the value, it would double, right? So I don't want to spend this much of memory to solve this problem. And how efficiently we can solve? That's where bitmaps come to rescue. So what are bitmaps? Bitmaps, also called as bit array, is a data structure which just holds the bits, or it's just an array of bits, however you can think. So to give an example, what is a bit map is just an array of bits. So if this is a bit map, how much memory it is consuming? So it is basically consuming seven bits only. It's not even consuming one byte. If I just add one more here, it's now consuming eight bits, which is equal to one byte of memory only. So this is how this data structure is so much efficient. Now, every bit can save some information, right? It can save two states, either it's zero and one. This data structure can help us to solve the problem which we just discussed. And how, if you ask, let's discuss that. Suppose I wanna calculate active and inactive users per day, then all I need is a data structure called as bitmap. How many bits we need is, it, we need exactly the total number of users we have in the system. So we had 1 billion users, and now I need a bitmap with 1 billion bits in it. So let's take all bits 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It ends in 1 billion, okay? The last 0. Total we have 1 billion zeros. Now, how much memory it is consuming? Now we have 1 billion bits. Oh, 1 billion bits. So let's consider, convert into bytes. We just need to do divide by 8. We get approximately 125 megabytes. Okay, so we basically get 125 megabytes of memory. So earlier we actually got, just to save the keys in the hash map, we consumed about 4 GB of information. And in this case, we are just consuming 125 MB of you know, memory to save that information. So the same information. Now, how do we solve that problem over here? So now we have a bitmap with 
all zeros in it. So we have 1 billion zeros. Now each bit in this bitmap actually maps to a user. So this is the zeroth bit and this one is the first bit, second bit. So now the mapping is also same. So this bit is mapping to user with ID 0. This bit is mapping to user with ID 1. This is for 2, 3 and so on. So this one is mapping to the user 1 billion user or user with ID 1 billion. So if there are more users, say for example 1 billion 10 users, then we will need 1 billion and 10 zeros in our data structure. So that way we have one bit assigned for every user. Now what we have to do is very simple. If user has logged in today, we just need to set this bit maybe in real time or maybe when you, you know, go through the data which is in the hard disk or somewhere, we just need to set this particular value. If uh, nth user is logged in, then we just need to set that nth bit to 1. So if user with ID 2 is logged in, then we just need to set the second bit in this bitmap to 1. If the user with ID 5 is logged in, then for 5, so we just need to set this fifth bit in the bitmap to 1. So how this will help is, so suppose if I want to calculate the total number of active users this day or today, all I have to do is go through this bitmap, we just have 1 billion bits and count all the bit with value 1. It's that simple. Now in this case, consider uh, how many we have. The user 2 is logged in, 5 is logged in and whatever it is. So when we count all the ones, it actually gives us the total number of user active to day. Okay, so now this map is giving the information of all the number of users active today. And how do we calculate all the users which are inactive or the user didn't log into our system? So you just need to count all the total number of zeros in this bitmap. That is it. So we just consumed 125 MB of memory and then we were able to get the total number of users active today and total number of users inactive today. And now you might be asking question, in your requirement you said that I want to calculate all the users who were active last n days. Then how do you solve that? For that, we just need to save, keep on saving these bitmaps in the memory. So this is for day one. So I call this as D1. So if I want to calculate all the total number of users active in last three days, basically every day I will be calculating um, the bitmaps mm -hmm. and then I keep saving these bitmaps. Basically I'll, I'll be saving 125 MB of the data every day. So this is for the day two, this is for the day three. So suppose on the day two, so these were the users logged in. And on the day three, everyone logged in, hypothetically. Then we just need to calculate all the total number of users active in the last three days, okay? Or maybe if I want to calculate, give me all the users who are active consistently across all the three days. All I have to do is just do the AND operation on all these bitmap, we just get that information. So how do we do that? So, so this user was not active. So 0, 0, 1 gives us to 0. So this user was consistently active from last three days. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we got to know only this user was active all the three days. So now if my requirement is something like this, Instead of finding all the users who are consistently active from last three days, if I just want to calculate, you know, give me the total number of users who are active in any one of the day or in the last three days, then all I have to do is do our operation. So, 1, 1, 1, okay, this is like 1, okay, 1, 1, 1. It means that basically everyone was active because you know on day three everyone was active so obviously everyone was active from last three days suppose if this user was not really active on day three as well so now this bit will become zero so when you count you basically have one two three four five six just with this data you can basically six users were active out of seven users so that's how you can calculate different metrics by just using this information which is saved in the bit arrays so other thing, other requirements which I asked was, okay, how do you calculate active users 
per device or kind of platform. In that case, what we have to do is we'll have to calculate or save different bitmaps for everything. Say, for example, I'll have one more bitmap. So, okay, uh, day one in Mac OS. I'll be having one more bitmap just to save that information. I can have one more bitmap, save windows and D1 on the day one and Linux. So I can have all of this. So by doing this, we can get different KPIs uh, per platform or operating system. So it, it's about saving information in different bitmaps and then doing and or extra operation to get um, you know some more metrics. So now how much data we are saving? For this information, we are saving 125 MB, 125 MB. So even if you are saving about what, 10, so we are consuming 10 different bitmaps, we are consuming 1.25 GB only to save all of this information. So if you are used hash map, just to save the key in the hash map itself, we would have consumed how much? 4 GB. And I'm not talking about the values at all. To get all of this different information, we would have saved more values, right? That would have been definitely gone to more than 20 GB or something like that. So by using bitmaps, we are saving a lot of memory and the computation is much faster because we can save all of this information in the in memory so we can compute it much faster. So you might be thinking, how much time uh, does it really take to calculate all of this information when we have these bitmaps saved already in memory or somewhere in the computer? So I was not able to really compute a bitmap with 1 billion bits in it. So, but I was able to get some information. Suppose if I have about 200 million users, then I will be having a bitmap with 200 million bits in it. So in that case, if I want to just calculate all the active users in that bitmap, it took me about 100 milliseconds only. So it's that fast, okay? Even if you have 200 million users, just to get all the active users for that day, I, you know, I was able to get that in 100 milliseconds. Then all of this information, all of the different metrics will be running in sub millisecond or, you know, less than a second. So it's that cool. So next time when you have some problems to solve, definitely try to consider bitmaps. If you can solve using bitmap, then you don't need to spend a lot of time writing hash map, uh, you know, saving, you know, spending a lot of memory and then processing power. Maybe you can simply solve using bitmaps. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I think I also learned something new and I guess you guys too. Thank you.